Uh, today I want to talk to you guys about LG because I know a lot of people are struggling with LG and I know people that actually quit the hobby because of LG. So I want to yeah, help you guys and make sure you don't quit the hobby because of that because I think that's one of the worst decisions that you can make. Um, now I don't say that I don't have any LG in my aquariums but I sort of, yeah, I think I've found the ways to prevent it as much as possible. So today I want to share with you guys uh, six reasons why you probably have algae in your aquascape and how you can sort of yeah, combat them. Now the first reason why you probably have algae in your aquascape is it's just because your plants are not healthy. Um, I've already said it before, in your aquascape there's like a constant battle going on between plants and algae. And whoever is the strongest is going to win that battle. So if your plants are not healthy, there's no way that they can they can win that battle. Now, a lot of reasons, there could be a lot of reasons why your plants are not healthy. Uh, maybe you've chosen plants that need a lot of high, high light and you really, don't really have that much light. Or maybe you need a little bit more steel too. There could be a lot of reasons why your plants are not healthy. Um, so have a good look in your aquarium. Do all the plants look healthy? Do they look uh, vibrant? Do they have, are they showing the great colors? <clears throat> And I see a lot of times aquascapes with uh, where the top part of the, the top part of the plant is healthy because they're getting a lot of light. Then on the bottom part, it's like the stem is bare and the leaves are falling off, and this produces a lot of organic waste. And that's actually the reason number two why you probably have algae in your aquarium, it's just because you have too much organic waste. So if you take good care of your plants and you make sure that they're all healthy, then your plants will take care of you by giving you an algae-free aquascape. So yeah, the second reason why you probably have algae is just because you have too much organic waste. And I think that this is one of the biggest reasons why people have algae. Uh, just because they don't have a clean aquarium or a clean aquascape. Uh, having a strong filter is, is going to make your life so much easier. I always recommend people to get a filter that has a turnover of, yeah, preferably 10 times the, the volume of the aquarium. So this aquarium right here is 48 liters. The, aquarium, the filter and does 700 liters per hour so it's even more than 10 times turnover and this just helps a lot by getting all the detritus out of the aquascape making sure that everything is clean but i don't i don't just rely on filter for getting all the organic waste out of the aquarium like you have to do your, your water change as well and when i do a water change i like to like wave my hand over the substrate so all the detritus starts to whelm up and then you can easily siphon it out while you're doing your water change. And also make sure that when you're trimming, when you're performing a trimming session, make sure you get all those trimmings, you get them all out of the, out of the aquarium. Because they're going to start floating around and then they get stuck somewhere. And then they slowly start rotting and that causes algae. And reason number three why you might have algae is because you have too much nutrients in your water. Um, a thing that I used to do in the past is have a look at the fertilization, the liquid fertilizer bottle and just dose the recommended dose. Well, those fertilizer companies, they want to make money, so they just tell you whatever they want to make sure that you run through your fertilizer bottle as quickly as possible. But it's important to understand how much nutrients your plants actually need. So I think, yeah, one of the biggest mistakes that you can do is just to just dose the recommended dosage. Because your plants need a lot less fertilizer than you probably think. Now if you have a healthy um, aquascape with a lot of plants, then having excess nutrients shouldn't really be a problem because you have a lot of plants that can take, okay, take up those nutrients. But let's say you have an aquascape with not that much plants and in this case if you have a lot of nutrients and you might already have some algae then those algae is going to feed off of those excess nutrients. So we want to make sure that we have only the amount of nutrients that the plants actually need. And this is different with every aquascape. So I can't tell you, I cannot tell you how much your plants need. This is something that you need to figure out yourself. And the thing that I actually like to do is to have a, a very nutrient rich substrate. Um, so the plants can get most of their most of their nutrients through the roots yeah so i just don't need to dose as much fertilizer 
and this way I have a lot less nutrients in the water column but more in the substrate and this helps me a lot with pattern yeah this helps me a lot with preventing algae the fourth reason why you might have uh, algae in your aquascape is because your co2 is not optimized um, co2 is yeah the most important nutrient for your plants people actually think that uh, the liquid fertilizer that that's the most important but co2 is a lot more important than that so we want to make sure that that is optimized um, so if you have a look at your aquarium your aquascape do you see CO2 bubbles throughout your entire aquascape? Uh, if not, then we need to change something. Uh, maybe we need to add a little bit more CO2. Uh, maybe something is blocking the flow, some hardscape is blocking the flow, or you need to trim your plants. Um, if, you have, if you have a lot of plants, they can actually yeah, block the flow, and then your CO2 doesn't reach all the other plants. And this again why a uh, strong filter uh, helps out with that because this, the flow of the filter will make sure that your CO2 com comes throughout your entire aquarium. If there are some spots in your aquascape where there is no CO2 then those plants are going to suffer and that's the first thing where you're going to get algae. So make sure that your CO2 is optimized. Reason number five, uh, your aquarium or your aquascape is just not stable enough yet. And I think this is something that a lot of people forget or new people just don't know yet. Um, but it takes time to stabilize your aquascape. And it can take a couple weeks, like four or five weeks. Um, and what I mean by this stable, I mean that you have a lot of uh, beneficial bacteria. These, these bacteria, they will break down organic waste and they will turn that into the nutrients for your plants. And this is something that's very important to have. So if you have algae in the first three weeks of your aquarium, then that's a very normal thing and there's nothing you should worry about. Um, this is something that will stabilize itself. Especially in the first two, three weeks, it's very normal to have brown algae. Um, so if you see brown algae, uh, don't get scared, don't, yeah, it's normal. Uh, if after six weeks, uh, you still have a lot of algae and things are still not stabilized, then you need to, then you need to start looking at what could be the problem and how can I fix it. Uh, reason number six is you just have too much light. Now, of course, in aquascape, now of course in aquascapes you want to have a lot of light. So I'm not going to tell you to reduce your lighting. Um, instead, what you can do is maybe reduce your lighting period. So let's say you have li your lights on for eight to ten hours. Maybe reduce it to six or seven hours. See if, you, if that makes a difference. Um, another great thing that if you have too much light, and this is something that I recommend, especially in the beginning, is to have some floating plants. I think floating plants are very underrated when it comes to battling algae. Because especially in the beginning, they take up a lot of nutrients that your plants are just not able to take up yet. And yeah, they reduce some of the light that you're putting on your aquarium. So yeah, I always like to have some floating plants in the first few weeks of my aquascapes. And I feel like that helps a lot against algae. And there's one more thing that I want to say to you guys. And that there's a lot of products on the market that will kill algae. And they work, but I wouldn't advise you to buy those things. Because they usually also kill a lot of the beneficial bacteria. And that will sometimes just make things worse or the algae will come back after you stop using the product. So just look for the yeah, the cause of the just look for the cause of the algae. Just look where the algae is coming from and what is the reason that you have algae. There's always a reason for it. So instead of just buying a product and dumping in that dumping that into your aquarium and having no clue what it's going to do for your fish or your beneficial bacteria. Look for the root cause and fix the root cause. So yeah guys, I really hope that that helps you guys in some way. Uh, I really want all of you to have algae free aquascapes. I think that's the main goal. Um, if you like this video and you learned something, and I really hope you learned something, uh, give this video a thumbs up, uh, share it with your friends who maybe also have algae. Um, if you have more questions or you have more problems with algae, you can always 
send me a message on Instagram uh, at Aquascaping Amsterdam. I'm always happy to help you guys out and answering your questions. Um, please don't forget to subscribe. And guys, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.